In 2021, Toyota discontinued the Land Cruiser in America, choosing not to export the new G300 model. Like many others, we had a sweet place for the large, welcoming SUV. Problem was, nobody in this room was interested. The Land Cruiser was too large and inefficient, priced out Toyota SUV fanatics at over $90,000, and wasn't a fancy enough badge for people who spend that much money on an SUV. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to tell you Toyota Land Cruiser is coming back to shock the entire market. Toyota decided not to export the new G300 model to the US, therefore discontinuing the Land Cruiser in 2021. Like many others, we were fond of the large, amiable SUV. However, nobody in this room was interested in it. At almost $90,000, the Land Cruiser priced out Toyota SUV enthusiasts and was too bulky and wasteful. It also wasn't a nice enough badge for people who spend that much money on an SUV. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Toyota Land Cruiser is coming back to shock the entire market. Despite this, Toyota did not confirm that they would no longer produce the Land Cruiser moniker in its entirety. In their original statement, the company indicated that they will explore future items that commemorate the Land Cruiser's strong off-road history and advise Land Cruiser lovers to keep tuned for future advancements. Toyota confirmed the Land Cruiser will return to America. After a brief absence, the tough, all-terrain Toyota Land Cruiser is returning to the American market. The company announced the return of the iconic moniker in a brief video shared on its social media pages. However, the next Land Cruiser offered for sale in this country might be smaller than the previous model. The five-second sample film, which is included below, features some of the badges that the off-roader has sported throughout its lengthy history. The Land Cruiser models from the 20 Series, 40 Series, and 60 Series, among other variations, will be instantly recognizable to die-hard fans. The Toyota caption is quite clear. Really, did you think we'd be gone so long? The legend is back. There is the end of the official trail of knowledge, which is nevertheless better than nothing and satisfying enough to whet our desire. Unconfirmed information suggests that the new 300 series vehicle, which will be revealed in 2021 and offered in a number of international regions, including the Middle East, won't be the next Land Cruiser we see in dealerships. The Lexus LX600 is the only vehicle you can choose if it is what you want to park in your driveway. It seems unlikely that the 70 series Land Cruiser will be given permission to arrive here either. Instead, a market-specific model of the upcoming Land Cruiser Prado is expected. Although it hasn't been shown yet, below the sheet metal, it ought to be very similar to the new 2024 Lexus GX. Up to three rows of seats, body-on-frame construction, and a gasoline-electric hybrid drivetrain centered on a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine are all to be anticipated. Though keep in mind that this is just conjecture, it may be the same technology that is provided in the new Tacoma. The GX and Land Cruiser will differ visually, and it's safe to presume that the Toyota will have a less upscale interior than the Lexus. There are still many unanswered questions. Will the prototype bear the Land Cruiser brand, or will the Land Cruiser Prado be its initial launch name? Its predecessors have all been given the Prado suffix. However, if there isn't a standard Land Cruiser to set it apart from, the suffix may be rendered meaningless. What happens to the 4Runner is another intriguing query, one that Toyota's product managers have probably already addressed. It's time for an upgrade, because the current 5th generation model, which is essentially identical in length, width, and height to the 4th generation Land Cruiser Prado, went on sale for the 2010 model year. Can the Toyota lineup accommodate two body-on-frame SUVs with equal sizes and off-roading capabilities? It's important to note that the Land Cruiser Prado is a model sold worldwide, but the 4Runner has largely become a North American product. Strangely, our spies haven't yet seen a new 4Runner in testing. In contrast, 
the recently debuted Tacoma was frequently sighted in spy photos prior to its release. Of course, this does not rule out the possibility of a sixth-generation model in the near future. In the upcoming months, Toyota will address these issues as well as others. The aforementioned story states that we will see the Land Cruiser in 2024, even though there is no official release date for its return. The Land Cruiser nameplate probably won't be the G300 Land Cruiser. According to both Automotive News and The Drive, Toyota will model the next generation of the American Land Cruiser after the next generation Land Cruiser Prado, which is Toyota's more compact and affordable Land Cruiser. It is likely that Toyota will no longer offer the Prado for sale in the United States. According to reports originating in Japan, Toyota might simply refer to it as the Land Cruiser 250 in that market. The Land Cruiser Prado and the Lexus GX have historically been considered to be identical twins. Therefore, the newly revealed 2024 Lexus GX, which is based on the TNGAF platform, should provide a visual and functional glimpse of what a new Land Cruiser might be like. What engine will the new Land Cruiser get? At launch, the Lexus GX will be equipped with a 3.4-liter V6 engine that is capable of producing 349 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque, though a hybrid is coming. TFL is reporting that the new Land Cruiser will get the same 2.4-liter inline-four hybrid max powertrain that is used in the new Toyota Crown and the Lexus TX. This powertrain has an output of approximately 340 to 350 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, which is not too far off from the 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet that the 2021 Land Cruiser had with the 5.7-liter V8. If we brought back the Land Cruiser, would it make sense? Yes, it would be a waste for Toyota not to use the Land Cruiser brand, especially at a time when off-road SUVs are more popular than they have ever been before. The J200 model had a number of problems, such as a bloated body and an expensive price point, which discouraged fans. If the Land Cruiser was redesigned to be smaller, less expensive, and more off-road focused while still being liberated from the constraints of being the flagship SUV, sales would likely increase significantly. If the base price of the Land Cruiser were to fall anywhere between $50,000 and $60,000, Toyota would still have room in the product hierarchy to introduce a new 4Runner below the Land Cruiser. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. Comment below with your answer and let us know, would you buy Toyota Land Cruiser? Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.